You want to know the best way to clog up your gutters? Do you want to find out how to ruin your fascia and your soffits? Do you want to learn how to get nice deep stains on your stucco and maybe rot out the siding on your house? Well then be sure to watch today's video because I'm going to show you one simple way to do all of that. Hi everybody, this is Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing, and today I'm going to show you one common mistake that a lot of homeowners make that actually prevent their gutters from draining the way that they're supposed to and can potentially cause a lot of damage on your home. So for some reason, when builders are designing uh, a home with regard to the landscaping, oftentimes they'll put patios or walkways or sidewalks or driveways right where a downspout needs to vent all the water. So then what happens to deal with the inevitable pool or pond or ice skating rink that would result from, from that, or just having water where they don't want it, what they end up doing is, and homeowners are guilty of this too, it's not just builders, but what they do is they take that black corrugated pipe, you know, it's four inches, and they'll run it underground, connect that to the downspout. Well, so here's what starts happening. All those little ribs start collecting debris. It could be leaves, pine needles coming off your roof, could be just the shingle granules that are coming off of your shingles, could be even just dust that's blowing around. But those ribs start collecting a bunch of debris. That debris starts filling up those ribs. In the summertime, not too big of a deal. Water will still keep moving in there. But then what happens is larger pieces of debris, you know, end up going down your downspout and they're going to get stuck in there too because now there's there's something in there that they can actually grab onto the ribs and the other debris so you start building up these little dams inside that pipe then in the winter time the problem gets even worse because all that debris that's stuck in those ribs and all the debris that's kind of building up in there starts holding water in the winter time that freezes well now the water can't move through there anymore and so it starts backing up. And as water starts backing up in that pipe in the winter time, you're starting to build up more and more ice. More and more debris gets washed down the downspout into that pipe, collects in that water, and gets frozen into the pipe. So now you started this chain of events that just keeps building and building and building, and that pipe is starting to get more and more backed up. So now your downspout that comes down off of your house doesn't have any way to get the water away from the house like it's supposed to. So that water can actually start backing up the downspout. I've actually even seen a basically a two and a half story high downspout completely filled with water all the way back up into the gutter. The gutter can't drain at all because that black corrugated pipe is completely full. The water has nowhere to go. So if the connection between that black pipe and the downspout, you know, if, if that connection's not real tight, water can seep out of there and have somewhere to go. But otherwise, it's just gonna back all the way up that downspout and your water isn't gonna go anywhere. The water in your gutter isn't gonna go anywhere. It's just gonna sit there and then it's gonna start overflowing, overflow the front of the gutter, overflow the connection between the downspout and the gutter. It can, it can even overflow the back side of the gutter and go into your fascia and your soffit ruin that wood. It can even come, it creep back up your roof and come down inside the house. We're actually working with a homeowner right now who's got that very problem and we're getting ready to get rid of those black corrugated pipes and put in regular downspout extensions. So what I did just for illustration for this purposes, since we we're going to replace those pipes, I actually cut through that black pipe to show how much water and how much pressure there was built up in the downspout and the gutter. Well, so what should you do? If you have to drain, or if you have to extend your downspout away from your house and you have to go underground to do it, what's the best way to do it? I strongly recommend just smooth PVC pipe. And you can connect that to your downspout the same way that you would connect the black corrugated pipe, but then the water's gonna run smoothly through there. It's not gonna get clogged up. Also, make sure that you have enough slope. If that, if that downspout extension, that underground ex downspout extension, 
doesn't have much slope to it, even on the smooth pipe, you could get debris built up in there, which is then gonna cause ice to start collect and it's still gonna back up. Make sure you've got a good slope to your pipe and that it's a smooth PVC pipe or a plastic pipe, something like that. If you don't have to go underground with it, don't go underground. Just put a normal extension on your downspout and let the water go out onto your grass, let it water a tree, let it water a bush, or collect it in a rain barrel. Surprisingly, our government overlords do allow us to collect water in a rain barrel now. I strongly recommend that you do that. If you've got any questions about this, please give us a call at our office phone number. That's right up here, 719-433-6991. You can also visit our website. That's right down here, homesteadroofingcolorado.com. We've got a ton of information out there, lots of articles, lots of videos, all of it educational for you. If you like this video, please give us the big thumbs up. Also, we'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon up there so that way you get notified when we've got new videos. And if you've got questions that you'd like us to answer in a video, leave those in the comments section down below. We read and respond to all questions that we get. Until our next Walk in the Park video, I'm Tracy Bookman, owner of Homestead Roofing.